All right, guys, welcome back to Caveman Crawling. Today we got Lizard. Lizard's gonna do an unboxing this time. Instead of driving the deadbolt test rig like normal, he actually, this one is gonna be completely his build. It's not gonna be a Frankenstein like we've been doing to the deadbolt. All right, Lizard, show everybody what you got. Okay, guys, I am Lizard, also known as the Grease Gremlin. This is my brand new C10 that I got from Hobby Town in Boise, Idaho. This is the current price of uh, what it is now. It may be that way if you guys decide to go there, it may not be the same. They do have the uh, green one as well up there. Yeah, but we got the last gray one they had. They in didn't... stock, they could be, there could be more in stock later on. They have done us a lot of help with these, so I am promoting them. They don't know I'm promoting them. Yeah, we're not... We're not getting endorsed at yeah, all Yeah, we're not them. getting paid. We paid for this truck, for the YouTube channel. We paid for any parts that are going to go on it. There was in no way any help from Hobby Town at all. We're just giving Hobby Town a shout-out because they have awesome, custom, awesome help and support up there. And the customer service is the best for any of the... Uh, hobby shops we've ever dealt with. This is my butter knife that I'm going to be unboxing everything with. It's just a butter knife, YouTube. We got Dizzle in the background. He was testing the Bronco, but he's got to tweak a couple things on it, so he's just kind of relaxing for a minute. This is the uh, C10. This does have the uh, version one motor of the AE6 uh, dual. Um, they're the combo of receiver as well as ECU. The, yeah. It's got a pretty cool background to it. Yeah, uh, kind of like in the uh, sagebrush kind of. Rocky Fits terrain. in for being the desert of Idaho with all the sagebrush that's up here. The old trusty butter knife. Now these do come with BF Goodriches. And it looks like method wheels. Yep, method race wheels. Pretty slick. That looks really nice. Oh yeah, it is the V1 brain, ain't it? That's all good, that don't hurt nothing. And then as always, it's got the standard stock dynamite motor. It's got the standard 350 mAh Horizon Hobby battery. It's got absolutely ridiculously bright LED headlights. And I don't know when, we might do some night crawls on the channel with all the vehicles since they ha all have lights. Here. So you're not He's right. got enough battery for the No, it's mean with the yellow sticker. The yellow sticker don't hurt nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are gonna, to we're gonna do a second part, or actually a third part, I believe. On the Bronco, we're gonna do a build video on the C10. We're gonna do a live stream in the future. Depending on when this video comes out, it might be a few days after the video. It might have been a few days prior to the video. We'll just see. Um, There's the C10. Uh, I should probably turn it off because I don't have all the uh, other internals done yet. Got X drive lines, got an axial sticker and batteries for the uh, controller. You want to light that mosquito thing? I think they're both dead. All right. Got the uh, USB uh, charger. We got a sore shoulder. And then the AXE4 controller. Could be worse. Oh, you even get to peel the sticker. Look at that. Oh, so satisfying. That wasn't at all creepy. Oh, well. 
It's late, YouTube. Don't get mad at us. It's late and hot in Idaho, and we're trying to bust this video out for everybody. Trusty butter knife. And as always, guys, like and subscribe and comment. It helps us out. It's free. It's 100% free. Almost every day we at least have a YouTube short going up on the channel. The YouTube shorts have been hit, have been going up really good. They've been getting tons of views. If you guys could just fucking... If you, get, if you guys could hook it up on the full-length videos... That helps us out a ton. Thank you, Captain Obvious. It's red, so it's on. Oh, I mean, people might not know. They might be retarded like I am. This dork's gonna get me kicked off of YouTube. Alright, Wizard, you're running through some lines, and then we'll probably give everybody a final thought. And Dizzles over in the background with the Bronco. But that'll be for another day. Hey, the cool thing is, though, is we still have a set. Them chrome uh, BF Goodriches that, were on, that I had on the Gladiator for a little while. Yeah, we do have those. And then look out on the channel, guys. We're gonna we keep meaning to do a tire comparison video, and the last few days around the HQ, we've just been testing a bunch of new setups. And the Caveman Off Road Park, as it's officially became called, this is the Crawl Trail 2. Point, like 3.0 or 4.0 at this point. We've redesigned this thing so many times. And then within a couple of days of this coming, of going live, or either within a couple of days of after it's out we are going to do a live stream we're going to hang out and just kind of do our normal stuff test goof off amongst ourselves and we do have some four links we are testing out to see how well they would work on our rigs well the i'm letting the gremlins test them Unfortunately, I got some. I got some other stuff. I'm still testing, and that's why I have Gremlins. They test everything else for me. Okay, that's not completely true. They just say, "Hey, you want me to test this out?" And they I say, "Yeah." And then they tell me if they like it or not, and we decide if we're going to do a video. Because this kind of started as a one-man operation, and then. It kind of turned into an all of us operation. It just makes everything easier. That C10 really is going everywhere. And I had to open my mouth. And then this is Bigfoot's Revenge right here. This is our challenge line because on the, on the passenger side of that C10, that's actually a pretty deep hole. It may not look very deep, but it would very easily swallow up the C10. Is there a single line that thing has refused to go over? Uh, just over the big ass uh, mountain top. Well, it's Sasquatch Mountain. It ain't supposed to be easy, dude. Please tell me that the Grease Gremlin does not have a Sleeper 2.0. That's kind of what it's looking like, is the Grease Gremlin has a Sleeper 2.0. But to be fair, the motor we're testing in your Bronco is like Coyote swapping a full-size truck. So yeah, just please true. don't start hopping around like a Mexican jumping bean again, please. Those toys are like have been gone forever now, and I don't miss them. Dude, I can't help it. I'm excited, all right? Because not only do I get speed with it, and I can run circles around your butts. 
Speaking of old toys, yeah. you remember those things you'd pop them inside out and then you'd throw them at the ground and they'd spring way up in the air? No. Yes. Those were cool. They were like a half of a Super Bowl and you, you folded it inside out and you threw the side that was out down. It's like you threw it down backwards like a ball and it'd pop it back up. Sorry guys, we're kind of random here at the HQ. It's it's pretty late here for us. Usually we're making videos before like it gets super hot and it's currently cool and we're running around doing getting some stuff ready for the channel all morning. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it up this uh, obsidian piece. Uh, no, not anytime soon. So how about you show it off on some other parts? Dude, you're stuck. Just like just, just accept it and go. Our lovely viewers really don't want to watch the poor little Chevy be stuck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me know down in the comments, down below, down there, in the bottom. Let us know down there if you guys want to see a Ford versus Chevy battle, because I know I do. That would be pretty cool. I think I know what our, our job for tomorrow is going to be is the Bronco versus the C10. Well, I don't think that'd be very fair. I mean... I am coyote swapped after all. You're kind of coyote swapped. You're no, like no kind of. You're like a coyote puppy because you're a 124. I'll take it. <laughs> I could still run laps around you, so. But don't worry, guys. I'm just gonna make sure he falls over at every turn because this ain't top heavy like the Bronco is. Yeah. Say right. hi to Lizard Let's and hear. Dizzle, and now they're gonna box. We'll save that for the outtakes. Maybe we'll start a Patreon and I'll show you guys all the outtakes of Dizzle and Lizard fighting, including real okay. grappling and rolling around on the ground. Because people have done jujitsu on this channel. And MMA. Hey, take it up the gate up here. Dude, we're not, this isn't the Chuck Norris channel because I'm afraid of Chuck Norris because that, like, haven't you ever heard all the jokes, dude? It just went up, no problems. This little C10, I gotta admit, it's it's a monster. It, it goes really everywhere. Is. And like that piece of rock that it's nosed into right now, that's a volcanic obsidian. Um, right there is obsidian, that's obsidian. That red one right there under my finger is obsidian. I think that's like a YouTube rule at some point. You have to use your finger as a up close pointer. Right, right there. Right there. Get your finger out of my camera. <laughs> I'm taking offers in the comments for gremlins for hire. You can just have them. Cheap. Dirt cheap. Okay, I, I kind of lie. I would miss my gremlins. They do amuse me. You're kind of stuck there, dude. Here, here. Let, let... Let me get you out real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hand hold on. Hey, of hey. God. There you go. And there you go. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna have Lizard drive it back over to himself. He'll pick it up, give us his final thoughts on it, and then we'll call it for this one, and we'll. We'll go from there. See, that hole just like completely devoured the C10. Just like it's now in the hole. Hand of the gremlin. All right, tell everybody what's up for your final thoughts with the C10 and please stop shining those headlights in my eyeballs. Thank you. This so far has been one of the best crawler trucks I've had. Stock completely out of the box. Granted, this is my only one I've ever had brand new out of the box. Okay, but don't take a liking to my test truck and then be like, hey, can I have this? Technically, this was bought for me. That one was bought for you. The deadbolt we got in a trade for some other parts. Yeah, because it was a relatively a monster truck that got turned back into the deadbolt and is now the fucking best wheeler out here. We'll let that one slide. We try to not swear too much on the channel. I I'm, won't, just, I'm just overly excited. I won't lie though, if there was an outtakes video reel for like 
Patreon or something, it'd be a lot of profanity. A lot. It'd be funny, though. But, yeah. If you look very carefully, there's actually a radiator design in it. I just That's realized cool. that. But, all right, give your final thoughts. We're pushing a long video, dude. I don't, uh, if I can get uh, just a couple extra things done to this, it'd be, in my opinion, 20 times better than the default. And for the ones who have seen, the Deadbolt is crazy. That goes everywhere. This could be the next, uh, basically, Deadbolt killer. Yeah, check out our uh, Overlander challenge videos. And our... Uh, that's pretty cool. It's got Method stickers and BFG stickers in the back window. That's awesome. But yeah, check out our Overlanding video and our Follow the Leader challenge videos. That deadbolt absolutely annihilates everything we have short of our comp buggy. And for the ones who care, this is a 67 Chevy body. Yeah, it is a very nice gunmetal gray 67 Chevy body. But all right, that does it for us at the HQ on this very warm Idaho night. That's the lizard. We got Dizzle. I'm the caveman. We will see you on the next one. We will see you on the trail, and thanks for stopping by.